Jason, you better work quickly here, because Frankie Edgar, with that patented sprint to the octagon, I know you've taken a page out of his book. It's a wrestling thing, Jay. A wrestler's going to get down to business, and that is what Frankie Edgar is all about. He is jersey strong to his bone. Frankie is a guy that even when it looks like he's out of it, he can continue to press forward and get the goal accomplished. When he got dropped and hurt by Gray Maynard way back before he became champion, he was able to build himself back into that fight and secure a draw. And then the second time they fought, same thing, but he was the one that got the finish. They call him the little engine that could because he could never tell Frankie Edgar there's something he can't do. It's about 10 years ago, he won the UFC Lightweight Championship in Abu Dhabi. Truly one of the fighters that embraced fighting at his natural weight before it was in vogue. The answer, Frankie Edgar, back in yet another big UFC spot here tonight. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. We send it inside the octagon. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the former UFC lightweight champion, Frankie the Answer. Herb Dean is your referee. Ready, He's the third man in the Ready. octagon tonight. Good. Well, what else can you say about the overachiever Frankie Edgar came into mixed martial arts as a wrestler. The striking has certainly caught up with the grappling. Black belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. But perhaps his greatest weapon is head movement, his defensive boxing, and his ability to take a shot. Nobody has done it better in the lighter weight classes than the big double leg level change. Oh, man, that's a big moment early on. Most people expected he would be able to get the takedowns at will. The boxer stays up right at least for now. Oh boy. I mean, now you're gonna see his facial expression change a little bit. He's gonna start to wonder, what am I going to do now if I'm forced to stand with this guy that possesses power like he does in his hands? Massive moment for this boxer. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Striking from every position lands a strike from the bottom. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Edgar's back in side control. Making all these shots count. Beautiful ground strikes landed. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Just gotta be careful here. In the half guard. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Another strike gets through from the top position. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Oh, he's got his knee on the belly, raining down punches here. Under three minutes to go in round one. All right, he's got him in the north-south position here, DC. When you're in this position, however rare it may be, what are you trying to do? I'm just trying to lay on. I'm just trying to cut air from going to your body. I'm just trying to make you carry my weight. I don't necessarily want to be here. And I don't know if this guy wants to be here right now. He will use this to try to get to the next position. Don't want to be there for more reasons than one. I <laughs> don't want to be there. I don't want to be there on the bottom. <laughs> While well, landing several strikes here from the top, standing over his opponent. Good work here by Ed. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he... Gotta be careful here. Work 
Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Under two minutes now to go. All right, feet on the hips here. All right, some good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Gotta be careful here. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. Postures up now and lands a devastating strike to the head. Another strike gets through from the top position. Choice back in full mount. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Back mount now. In the half guard. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Edgar getting touched here repeatedly with these ground and pound strikes from the top. Referee's not gonna bail you out. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. That guillotine is tight. Submission now. Well, he had a tight job, but then he decided uh, to keep uh, the dominant position by giving it up. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. You need to be focusing. You looked a little sloppy on your takedowns out there, okay? It's time to suck it up, get sharp, and get focused. While we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC, a lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity. All action first round, both landed, multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. Ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. Beautiful body kick. Straight right is there. And now establishing that jab once again. There's the single. Pretty productive with the strikes here off his back. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Choi's got a big bruise starting to form on the right side of his body. Nice takedown. There you go. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Oh, right into the mouth. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Another strike gets through from the top position. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. Gotta be careful here. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by the Korean Super Bowl. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Now he's going full mount. Just over three minutes to go now. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move, you got to shrimp, you got- Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted, he's been beaten in the half guard. 
enjoys back in full mount. Working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Edgar's trying to lock up on a submission now. Looking for the guillotine lock right now, and it looks like it's in. He's done a great job of securing him, but now he's got to settle it if he wants to finish the fight. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Nice reversal on the ground, great job. Well, he has expended a lot of energy going for these submissions tonight. I'm not sure his opponent is actually submittable. No, it doesn't seem like it because every time he goes for a submission, he gets close, or at least he expects to get close. But his opponent is so on his game that he's not giving him much to work with. This has been a beautiful display of grappling offensively, but also defensively. He looks to improve position here. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. All right, half-guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side underhook. This is a great position for a top fighter. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Straight right legs. And that's that's the danger in the engagement there. Oh, big knee. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Fighter lands a nasty kick. Seconds winding down in round two. how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. Countering with the jab here, blocked by Shore. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, right into mouth. He's got to be careful here. Well, doing his able best to avoid the ground and pound here. Nice job by Choi. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Lands the ground and pound strike. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose in his strikes, he's landing. Oh, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Choi's back into full guard. Oh, right into Mount. Good work from the top here by Edgar. This is where he wants to be. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. 
Postures up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Edgar's back in side control. Oh, now he's back in on triangle. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pinned in the triangle now. Oh, wow, oh! Whoa, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Oh, crowd just loving it as the fighters, after an extended grappling battle, make their way back to the field. Yeah, they're back on their feet. They spent a lot of energy on the ground. And these guys are going back and forth on the ground, and ultimately, he's gotten back to his feet to give himself an opportunity. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up. When it comes to his aggressiveness, you certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on this play here. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Nice liver shot lands. strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Strong inside leg kick. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Uh, well, he's had his striking on point tonight, and as evidence, some swelling now on his opponent. Yeah, light swelling right now. But if he doesn't address it immediately, it'll turn to something much worse. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Oh, nice jab to the head there by it. Oh, he's doing a real good job of landing take off of the strikes, too. Now the hammer fist here by Edgar. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Got to be careful here. Busy as he looks to improve position here. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Edgar. On oh, another punch on the ground, gets through, may need some defense here. Final seconds of round three. in the books. Stop, stop, stop. Beautiful work out there. Awesome work. Your striking's looking great. You gotta keep it up. You know he's gonna come in for the takedown. Okay? So just... All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Nice jab to the head by it. Lands a solid kick right there. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Nice combination of kicks there by Chor. Stuff to take down, no problem. Now some uppercuts. He better move, John. He cannot take these uppercuts from this position. Gets lit up by that uppercut. 
That is a damaging kick that lands. Nice, low single takedown. A beautiful takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy tonight. Huh? I mean, over and over, takedown the tip after takedown the tip, and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet, but he's got this ability to continue to chase takedowns. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Postures up now and lands a devastating strike to the head. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Three minutes now to go in this one. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other decision. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Oh, getting leaky now. The hard ground and pound has opened up a cut. Nice transition. Edgar's back in full mount. Watch a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Oh, right into mount. Nice positional control here. Edgar's got his back yet again. In the half guard. Oh, huge pop from the crowd as the fighters get back up to their feet. I mean, you and I love a good grappling match, but these fighters came to see that. Yeah, the fans came to see them knock each other out. That's what they're going to get. All the grappling is beautiful to watch, John, but ultimately, it is the striking that people show up for. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Choi's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is starting to bleed a little bit now. Beautiful ground strikes land. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Edwards has got full mount now. Nice transition. Edgar grounded pound from half guard. He is making these shots count. Straight punch. Oh, almost like he saw the skin swell right away after he landed that strike. So that trainer's gonna have to bring in the end swell to try to deal with the swelling because this guy is getting pieced up. Just misses there with the left. Ten seconds to go in the round. Oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet nicely done. Twenty minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, replay truck has been kept busy tonight as we get you some clips from that previous round, and maybe we can even isolate the strike that opened his cheek up. I mean, a cut on your cheek. While it's in a better spot, it is still so hard to deal with. Every time that gets hit, it hurts so bad. He's gonna have to move his head here. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Fifth and final round. Frankie just misses with that left hand. Back to the 
jab now. Nice single. Oh, and he takes him down again. What do they say if it's not broken? Don't fix it. Don't fix it. And it has not been broken. How will the opponent change this? Does he have the ability to change this? To this point, it does not look like it's so. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Choi's eye is starting to swell shut. These are big shots, and they're not glancing blows. When he's throwing, he is landing so clean that his head is starting off the mat. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Edgar. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Working out of the half guard here. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Ed. Oh, man, what a strike from the bottom. These ground strikes really starting to add up. There's another one. All right, what do you think? Another takedown attempt here. It seems like every time he's gone to the well, it's been more time. When you're that successful with any one thing, why would you change it? He's going to shoot for another takedown, and I would almost be willing to bet he's going to secure it. I'll take your action. Okay. All right, well, I don't have to be a judge to tell you he is losing this fight late in the game now. Time to start throwing up those submission attempts, I would think. You've got to keep going. You got to start throwing up submission attempts. Submission attempts. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Edgar. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get up on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Yet again, rinse and repeat, targeting that swelling, and you got to think this is going to start to affect his performance now. Yeah, it, it's at a point now, John, where he's going to start to get desperate. He's going to start to make some mistakes because this swelling is not just minor anymore. We're starting to get into the major territory. Full guard now, Casey. For the top fighter, he's got to be very careful because most submissions come from the full guard. So advance to half. Try to build posture. But if you're the bottom person, the moment your opponent tries to move to the next position, build a shield. Kick off the hips and get back to your feet. Oh, nice. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Edgar. Oh, beautifully timed with that head kick. Significant wealth to the left side. Oh, effective use of the jab by the Korean Super Bowl. Under a minute now to go in this one. Already closes the distance, gets the single follow tie. Duffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, beautiful short elbow is there. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Thirty seconds now to go in the fight. All right, there it is, yet another strike targeting that already bruised area on his body. Well, you could tell that he had a purpose to come out here, make an investment, and see how it would play out. It seems to be working right now. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Back and forth action right until the final horn. That one's going to hold up in the fight of the year conversation.
the Ladies official and decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. For the winner by split decision, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi. Du Ho Choi is the name, ladies and gentlemen. A huge win for the Korean Superboy here tonight. And this is a kid who is just getting started. A scary proposition for the rest of this featherweight division. But we've already started to see major strides made when it comes to his skill development. This might be